Hello everyone, welcome to William's Way, the only way. Anyway, today we'll be discussing some Star Wars, and specifically my favorite movie, The Phantom Menace. And today I have a special guest, my boy, Brian Hill. Hey everyone, what's up? Yeah, what's up Brian? How you doing? I'm doing well, thanks for having me on, man. No problem, man. Anytime on William's Way. So today, <laughs> so today, um, we're going to dive into this Phantom Menace, and I'm going to talk to you guys about why I think it's one of the, like, the most underrated Star Wars films mm -hmm. in, you know, in the Star Wars saga. So let's dive into it. So like, it started from, when you say, uh, from 1983, I remember when that the sixth movie came out, you know, Return of the Jedi, mm -hmm. and I remember being a kid, literally, uh, that movie came out about almost over a decade later. Yeah. Yeah. Like, what was it? Ninety nine. In ninety nine. Yeah. 99. It was like fifteen years. My I remember birth going. Year. Yeah. I remember going to see it. Uh, I was really, really young, and uh, I just remember the line literally being like around the building. Yeah. Because like, that was the first people saw of Star Wars since then. Since like, since then, and yeah. honestly, for me, that was my first Star Wars movie I've ever watched. Mm -hmm. The first one I've ever watched was Phantom Menace, and I remember that line, man, going around the building, just us waiting, yeah. and the hype behind that movie was yep. incredible. Everybody's like, oh, George Lucas is back with another movie. Yep. And it's like, what? Yep. So, yeah, I just remember going to see it and just being amazed, uh, specifically with my favorite character, honestly, Darth Maul, to start there. <laughs> uh, being a kid, man, I had literally all his merchandise. I had so much Darth Maul merchandise. I had, oh. like, uh, hoodies, t-shirts, masks. You had a mask, right? Did you have, uh, like, the ha the thing that you wore for Halloween, right? Oh, yeah, I was. Mask, yeah, I was yeah. here for Halloween, too, yeah. yeah. I had a, a Darth Maul, like, a blow-up chair. <laughs> Wait, <laughs> how, how does that work? It was, like, think of, like, a giant, like, what are those sacks things that people sit in? Oh, like a beanbag. It was, like, a beanbag, but a chair. <laughs> and as Maul? As Maul. What? Like his face was like at the top of the beanbag. So it was shaped into a chair. And his creepy. face was I'm not gonna lie. I had a dark ball beanbag chair. I'm oh not gonna god. lie, that's kind of creepy, but that's really funny. <laughs> oh my god. And also I remember too growing up in art class, I tried making like a Darth Maul sculpture thing. Bro, yeah. And it came out. So bad. I want to see it. <laughs> it looked it? like... I want to see this. Literally, if Darth Maul was... I don't even know, bro. I can't even say. Like, it just looks so bad. Just wrong. Just, just wrong. Just wrong. <laughs> <laughs> like, if, if Darth Maul... Like, if think, think about, like, if Yoda and, like, a species of Yoda and, and Jar Jar had a child. <laughs> oh, bro, I don't want to think about that. Uh... <laughs> That's how uh, bad my art is. I'm the worst artist, bro. When it comes to drawing and sculptures, that's not me. You want to know something like like yeah. that I did that was like kind of like that was <laughs> when I was in elementary or no kindergarten. Yeah. I would try to. I didn't have enough hair for this. I would try to put my hair into the little Padawan ponytail. Oh, for really? Obi Wan head. Oh in wow. Episode one. And I would do it with like like an inch of hair on the back of my head. <laughs> Did you try like, like the? Uh, the I didn't have enough hair to do the braid. I didn't know how to do that. Braid like get a weave and that. Yeah, I didn't even do that. I didn't oh, know that man. was a thing I could do. <laughs> oh wow, damn dude, that's hilarious. Uh, although you did kind of like, you did kind of open something up there by mentioning Jar Jar. Mm -hmm. Um. Yeah. This this movie like is highly criticized. It, it is. Um, and yeah. I don't understand why, like, the criticism. Like, it's just so well written. And like I said, I grew up watching them mm -hmm. in order. So I, was, I watched them from episode one and two. As most yeah. people probably watch them, you know, four, five, six. Four, five, six, one, two, one, two three. three. I literally grew up watching them and just how, for the first time, you get to see Jedis, like, in their prime. Yeah. That's the thing for me. Like, it's like watching that fight scene at the end is one of the... Oh, compared to episode three, it's debatable. Like it's it's <laughs> a hard one. It's tough because for me, episode one is simpler, and it's like you're watching them just purely fight. Like no nothing really outside influence. But like episode three is like craziness, lava, platforms, oh, like man. ropes that they're swinging from, oh. like like hallways, like like they took the environment into account. They did that definitely one. take the environment and. Uh, like, just the environment on that boot too. You get to look at that planet and how. Yeah. Like, oh my God! Like where they fight too. It's like that. I don't even know what that is. That like, those platforms. Like they're and, like 
floating yeah like, like walkways the walkways and like that uh what's that giant light beam that goes yeah. down and i like, still don't know what that i don't was. know what that is all i know is in lego yeah. star wars the game if you walked into it you float up so yeah, yeah. i think you float in the things so you just die you when just you die. do that yeah. i think when you do it you just go up to the next level i just like got that gravitational i just got that on my hand on my hand on my iphone <laughs> <laughs> on my yeah, iphone on my, on my yeah. uh, i was like being handheld i just got <laughs> it on my iphone lego star wars yeah. But, um, no, like, that's, like, with this movie, people criticize it like crazy. And, like, I do have to say, like, one thing that is, like, the most common criticism mm-hmm. is Jar Jar. Is Jar Jar? Um, yeah. I mean, opinions. I don't know. What's yeah. your... What's I mean, your... there's... I remember hearing, like, theories out there about how Jar Jar could be, like, a Sith. I would have... I am not gonna lie. I might have been down with that. Yeah, like, how he's a Sith and how he's always, like, kind of like a Palpatine in disguise like he's mm-hmm. kind of playing both sides in a way like I've heard that theory playing clumsy so. yeah and like uh, yeah. I don't know Jar Jar I mean a lot of people say he's a kind of annoying character but I mean I like Jar Jar I mean I never had any problems with Jar Jar honestly. that's the thing like I, like I never I never <laughs> had a problem with him yeah. even when I was little though like like not gonna lie I liked him because mm-hmm. when I was little he's like a clumsy character he's got a funny voice mm-hmm. when you're little those things are like they appeal yeah, to you right exactly so like and honestly that was probably like like that was probably a move that got like some kids into it yeah um but like for me like I didn't notice how annoying he was until people said it. Until I heard he it. Heard you, right. And then I started watching and I was like, you know what? <laughs> he is annoying. <laughs> it's not enough to like hate the movie. Yeah. But it's like it's like when he whenever he's like clumsy and does something, you're just like, Can you not Can you for not? one <laughs> second? Draw like, draw, man. Yeah, I I, under- I I understand that. I do I do get that. Like, you know, he falls and all kind like, of stuff, yeah. But that being said, I love the movie. Like, I love Jar Jar movie. doesn't change that for me. Oh, no, man. Plus, you got, uh, if you get more into the Jedi's again, like, Qui-Gon, and mm-hmm. he's one of the, wow, the coolest Jedi's. He's one of my favorite Jedi's, actually. Bro, he was, he was and, underrated. Oh, I miss Qui-Gon, guys. Oh, mm-hmm. wait, guys, spoiler alerts. <laughs> if you haven't seen Phantom Menace, yeah. <laughs> and, and you and you care enough, <laughs> to not want spoilers, <laughs> then maybe skip like a little bit. Um, yeah. Or, or I don't know, just be careful. Um, but basically, so Qu- Qui Gon's death, right? Yeah. Like the reason why, like, like I feel like he's underrated because mm. they just killed him. Killed him off. And they killed him in a really easy way too. Like there wasn't much struggle for Maul when he killed him. That's the thing about Maul too, like. His character, he's just so, man, this guy's so dope, man. Like, he's, um, I gravitated to him so quick when I was young. I was yep. like, oh, Darth Maul, Darth Maul. Yep. And then when he fights Qui-Gon, I'll never forget, in the sand. That sand yeah. scene, he does that flip. He comes out with one saber, yep. that, that double front flip. I'm like, oh, snap. Yup. <laughs> he's like, yup. Qui-Gon's like, Anakin, drop. And Anakin, drop. He's fighting him, he's fighting him. I was like, man. And then at the mm-hmm. end... When that fight scene, like you don't know this guy has another lightsaber, and when he pulls that's that the out, ultimate surprise right there, bro. When he pulls that out oh and he ignites goodness. the one side, and then then the other, bruh. I was like, bro, that's that's that gets me to this day. You gotta be me. And the like, dun dun, <laughs> the music, that's the scene. Dun, music. Dun. Oh my goodness, they oh. did it right, man. That. And yeah, like Maul was made to take out Jedi. He was made with for ease. that. Yeah. He was made to take Jedi's out. Yeah. With ease. So And he was hardened too. Like Palpatine like um purposely tortured him. Yeah. To make to fill him with anger and, and hatred. Hatred. And like and it worked. <laughs> that it worked. man was full of A it. lot of people don't know Darth Maul's all red. Like the yeah. black is yeah, the, the black tattoos. Tattoos. It's the tattoos. He's tatted He's ta- all over. And I Yo. think Palp made him get those tats, correct? I think. Did he? I, that's what I heard. Why? Like, like, to, to torture him. Really? I think so. Okay, ladies, if you like a if tatted, you like... if you like a tatted man, <laughs> <laughs> and you haven't Let seen Darth know. Maul, you're missing out. <laughs> um, Clone Wars shirtless Maul Shirt. all the time. Oh yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, but like, <clears throat> in I saw a meme the other day. <laughs> Maul, like, okay, so, like, Qui-Gon and Anakin are running yeah. through the desert, and, like, um, and, or walking, and then Anakin's like, I had a vision the other day that I would become a Sith one day, and Qui-Gon, instead of saying, Anakin, duck, 
He says, or Anakin drop. He says, Anakin jump. Anakin jump. And then <laughs> Maul just hits him. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, Oops, oh, the side oh. over there, folks. Uh, yeah, like, the, the whole saga so would have been done. That's the thing. If Qui-Gon didn't oh say Anakin drop, none of Star Wars wow. would have happened. Anakin would have been dead, and nothing would have happened. Oh, man. And honestly, Maul would have basically probably won everything. Yeah, Maul, um, he had him, like, honestly, like, he took, you know, he took Qui-Gon down. That's interesting, you see, too, with, like, uh, Jedi's, and there's always one fighting two Jedi's at once, mm-hmm. and, like, uh, Maul, yeah, he took Qui-Gon down, and then, uh, Obi-Wan, he would've took Obi-Wan down, too, I, that's just my opinion, I'm a little biased, though, but, you know. He would've. But, uh, he yeah, just got cocky. He got cocky. Yeah, he started doing he that. Got cocky. He started <laughs> doing that. He said, "Do that little lightsaber dance, <laughs> swinging the uh, thing." I wish people could oh, see you doing. I that wish I could see what I was doing right so now. That was so funny. But, uh, <laughs> and then, but, uh, like, yeah, he does that. Yeah. He could have killed, bro. He dropped his guard. Like, why? Literally, if he had just like, like, if he had just force ripped Obi Wan's hands off of the thing he was holding on to. Dude, could have beat him. Yeah. Oh, you know, an interesting fact too. I heard that Maul and Obi Wan fight. It was slowed down. Cause they were going so they were fast. Going that fast. Yeah, Anakin or uh, Obi Wan and Maul. Yeah. Like Ray Park and yeah. Ewan McGregor got so into it. Oh, that, and you figure like those were two like like twenty something year old men. So <laughs> you know they're like Jackson these are two the men in the prime of their lives. Mm. Like in a scene that heated, they're they're going they're going hard. <laughs> like literally, like they had to slow it down. Usually they speed that they up. Speed that up. They had to slow, they had to it, slow down. it down. I, yo, anybody out there that got the full version, the fast one, I need to see that. Yep. yep. <laughs> I just want to see it. I just want to see like what I that looks like behind. It. Oh, we could find that. Yeah. That would be. Wouldn't it though? Oh, that would like, be sick. Are we allowed to put a link for that? Or something? <laughs> There's something we can do. It must have not looked real enough then, because why would they not want that in there? It must have yeah. looked so fake. I'm not okay. Like the other for day. 1999. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna see if Nikki can bleep stuff out, because <laughs> I gotta tell you guys the story. <laughs> the other day, I um I was showing my girlfriend um, Phantom Menace, <laughs> and um, <laughs> bro, this kills me. Um, I was showing her Phantom Menace, and at one point. Uh, they said, I was waiting for her to make the connection of Anakin Skywalker. Mm -hmm. Hear the Skywalker. And be like, Skywalker. Because she saw A New Hope, so she knows about Vader. Right. Um, She knows about Luke. She knows Mm -hmm. Luke Skywalker. Right. So, and she knows Vader is Luke's father, because everyone knows that. Right. Um, (laughs) Spoilers. Um, (laughs) Okay, so, spoiler, guys. Spoiler, 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 spoiler. You've been warned. Spoiler. Spoiler. Did I mention spoilers? Um... (laughs) So, I was sitting there with her, and Anakin goes to the pod race, and for the first time in the movie, they say Skywalker. They don't yeah, say it before that's that. That's true. It takes him, like, an hour to say his name. <laughs> so, they, they say, and, like, you know, f- like, racing here, we have Anakin Skywalker. And I turned to my girlfriend, and I was like, did you hear that name? And she was like, what, S- Skywalker? And I was like, yeah. She was like, oh, is that, is that, is that Luke? And I was like, no. <laughs> and she was like, is that, is that Luke's father? And I was like, yes. Uh-huh. And she just, she, <laughs> this girl goes, is that f- Darth Vader? <laughs> like, <laughs> this little bastard like this, is Darth Vader. This little son of a bitch <laughs> is going to cause all that all this problems. Bro. Like, bro. And, like, the fact that oh, she killed shit. me, oh I God. died, bro. Dude. I died. Bro. Bro, like, but that, like... It's funny, that, though. Like, I do, I look at that, too. Like, man, that yep. little guy... That, and he's baby. cute, too. Yeah, he's a little innocent kid. He's a kid. He's a kid. He's sweet. He's, kid. he's cute. He's endearing. And then he's, like... And then you see him in, like, Rebel Or not Rebels. Well, Rebels, yeah. But you see yeah. him in, like, Rogue One. Rogue One. Like, tearing up that hallway. Oh, my And you're goodness. like, bro, I see those pod racing reflexes right there. Man. <laughs> Only human in the pod race, too. Mm-hmm. Only, Only human. human. The boy was gifted. Mm-hmm. The boy was gifted, man. Over 20,000 midichlorians. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, Qui-Gon loved that boy. If Qui-Gon... I mean, this is something you and I have talked about before. We have. But if Qui-Gon trained Anakin mm. everything would have been different 
Everything uh, would have been different. It's that duel of fates, man. Du- oh, I told you about that, I told right? You about that. Yeah, duel of fates. That was the thing. Um, I forget who said that. Was it? It was. It was Dave Filoni, I think, who was saying that the duel of the fates wasn't the duel of Qui Gon and Obi Wan and Darth Maul's fate. The duel of the fates was a Anakin. duel for Anakin's fate. Yeah. Because if Qui Gon survived, Anakin would have turned to the dark side. Because Anakin needed a father. He yep. never had a father. He never Obi Wan was kind of like you know that brother. You yeah, know, brother. He looked at him as like a you know older brother kind of. He says, "You were my brother. Yeah, Anakin. my brother. I love right. you. Yeah. So it's like, I yeah. hate you. <laughs> <laughs> I love you. I hate you. I hate you. <laughs> that's some return, yeah. huh? Yeah, bro. Yeah, like yeah. <laughs> that's hurtful. You said it to your girl, like, "Hey, baby, I love you. I hate you. I hate you. <laughs> All right. Oh, damn. So okay. <laughs> I guess I'll leave. I don't know. All right. It's like that, huh? Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna remember that for next time. Yeah, okay, I'll remember that. I'll uh, <laughs> when we watch this movie, I'll point that out to you. Yeah. Um, no, like that. Um, that's the thing. Yeah. Like he he needed he needed Qui Gon, and he didn't get that. He didn't get a father figure. Wow. He didn't get. But that's that's the thing. That's the thing. <clears throat> that's yeah. a life lesson. Sometimes you know you need guidance. You need mm-hmm. some got some kids like young kids growing up. They need fathers, man. You need a father. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? yeah. You need like that's the thing. Like if he had someone who understood, like who was more lenient with the rules and wasn't so in the Jedi code, yep. and just followed the Force, like yep. just let him follow his Dude, emotions. Let him follow, yep. The reason why everyone falls to the dark side is because the Jedi are just so freaking locked down. <laughs> like they don't let you feel. No, they don't. And you these people fight. want their emotions. You can't fight with emotions. No. Even though Obi Wan did have a little motion on the ball in mm-hmm. that fight, so like Obi Wan turned to the dark side for a second, for a little, for just a little, a little bit. Dark I saw side that anger in there. That fight. Yep. I saw that it. slipped in there. Oh, he, did you know too? Before like that red opened up, mm-hmm. Obi Wan's like bouncing. Yep, Obi-Wan's that wasn't bouncing. in the script. Did you know that? Really, he just yeah. did that. He was self hyping himself up. Bro, that was sick. Yeah. No wonder because when he came out of that, he was cuts that lightsaber in half. Oh my man! And when Maul does the force push, do you ever notice the like, like there's like a weird like? Yeah, it's like a like a sound. Like a yeah, it's like a. It's a, it's a different sound. Like you don't yeah, hear you, it. D- you never hear, you that, never hear that, that. Besides that, that it's like it like sound. echoes. Yeah. Damn. But uh, we're gonna bring uh, these two special guests that we Ooh. have on. So uh, yeah. So the next segment, guys, get ready. We got two very special guests coming. You guys will enjoy this. Sweet. To my right. We have Mr. Obi Wan Kenobi. Hello there. And to my left, with no smile on his face, we have Darth Maul Kenobi. So, how was your day going? Well, I woke up, I trained, I meditated, I ate, and now I'm sitting next to you. Well, you know I woke up without my legs, of course, because of, well, you know who. And not this again. Come on, guys. That's a long time ago. Leave it on that boo. I literally left my legs on that boo. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So I gotta tell you, man, after discussing all these movies, I gotta say, Phantom Menace is, like, the best Star Wars movie, bro. One? Like, yeah, episode one? Like, yeah, like, episode one, yeah. Yeah. I... Mm. What? No, 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 no. Like, one one is great. No, mm, it, yeah. it's great, yeah. But, you know, I mean, three. What? You know, Revenge of the Sith. What? You will learn that Phantom Menace is the superior movie. I will do what I must. Yeah! <sighs> 